This is the effects that it has. Antidepressant would be number one. As I switch on the camera, literally as I press on the button, the fridge starts to make noise. So I'll see you in a minute whilst the fridge decides to do what it wants to do. Okay. Hello, my beautiful. I have wanted to try this for since I started first watching YouTube and I was obsessed with holistical habits. Holistical habits was actually the first person that introduced vibrations and frequencies to me. The higher your vibration is, the happier you are, the healthier you are. But this rose nectar has the highest vibrational frequency of any flower known to man. So for a normal human body to be in a happy, healthy state, we vibrate on 60 to 80 hertz, okay? This rose nectar has a vibration of 320 hertz. So to consume, it's like, yes. So let's unbox it and then try it. Beautiful little pink. Then obviously we've got the brand up here. So I think I got the biggest size, which is $64. <sighs> In the late spring, during only three weeks per year, we hand pick at dawn your organic roses so these roses in here can only be picked for three weeks out of the whole year oh this makes me feel a little bit bougie you know okay zero calories no sugar no additives oh no way it actually says on it raises your vibration protects and rejuvenates your skin elevates your mood relieves temporary stress cleanses liver and improves digestion Oh, okay. I did some research. This is the Encyclopedia of Essential Oils. Absolutely beautifully designed. Like, look at that. So I was trying to, like, read it to get the rose bits, you know? Rose is almost on every single page of this bloody book. Oh, herbal slash folk tradition. That's where we want to be. They were used for a wide range of disorders, including digestive and menstrual problems, headaches and nervous tension, liver congestion, poor circulation. Rose has a reputation for being an aphrodisiac. More so the Bulgarian type. That's exactly what we're trying, darlings. We are... <laughs> I'm excited. This is the effects that it has, okay. Antidepressant would be number one. Antiseptic, antiviral, laxative, regulator of appetite, sedative, tonic, heart, liver, stomach, uterus. <sighs> you know what? It smells bloody amazing. Like it smells like rose, but there's something in it which makes me just want to eat it. I feel like some magic's about to happen. Okay, so like it's water, okay? So it doesn't have any thick consistency. You don't, you can't even really taste it, but my mouth feels quite like rosy. It is quite like a flowery taste, which I quite like and don't mind. I know a lot of people don't like that, um, but it's not like strong. Like normally I've done a lot of like holistic health trends, let me tell you, and they never taste nice. <laughs> they never do. Um, so I was preparing myself for this to be like a, <gasps> one of those, but actually like I could just, I could just drink this whole thing straight, you know? I'm gonna put another half a ta tablespoon in, so then we've had our full amount for today. Cheers. I really probably should have savoured that, shouldn't I? It's really, really refreshing though. Okay, hi, I'm Jasmine and placebos work very well on me. So like immediately I feel like amazing. Like literally, you know when like you're young and you first start experiencing anxiety, depression, you just want your doctors to give you a pill to feel better like that. Unfortunately, the mental health pills don't work like that. But this feels like what I wanted when I was a teenager. <laughs> like a, okay, I feel amazing. But if this has a vibration like of 300 or something hertz, darling, I'm, bet I'm betting you that, that that is why I feel so good right now. I could see how this is like a little bit of an aphrodisiac. I can see that. I can see it. <laughs> Actually now, it's probably because I shot it all in one, but I do have like a little bit of like acid reflux at the bottom of my throat. Lord in love. So I already have this bottle which has rose quartz in it. Um, I think I got it from the psychic tree, so I'll link it down below if you're interested. So like I was talking about yesterday with the vibration and things like that, crystals also carry vibration and energy which help us. Obviously rose quartz is very lovely. So yesterday after I had the shot of just a pure rose nectar, um, I definitely felt the, the laxative effects, which 
wasn't the best. Um, I'm hoping that's because it's something new to my body. I took it as like a all in one and it wasn't diluted at all. So I'm glad I took the shot first and now we're starting to dilute it in other like fancy nice drinks. Good morning, beautiful rose nectar. Oh, it's just something in it that's just so yummy. I just love the bottle as well, like. It's so refreshing and so nice. Nice, I'm gonna stop drinking this now. So um, it can charge with the rose quartz for a bit. Um, something to note, I woke up really like anxious today. And now I feel happy again and excited. And yeah, I'm still thinking about those anxious thoughts, but I don't feel anxious in my body and overall. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm having it in some coffee. I really hope that will make it seem very like, you know, like a bougie coffee. Like you go to Harrods and have tea and it's all really nice floral, light teas. Hopefully it will make my coffee feel like that experience. <laughs> It's not like overwhelmingly floral, it's just very like subtle. So yesterday and this morning actually, so last night and this morning I could just smell rose. I hadn't sprayed anything rose, literally just consumed that in the morning. And I was going to have this this afternoon when I got home from work, but then I was like no I really want it in the morning, like I really want it before I start my day. Which I think is because of the vibration, you know, you know. No, it just makes the coffee seem a bit lighter, which is nice, that's what I like. Yeah, I'm going to finish this coffee, have my breakfast and watch some of the US office and I will see you tomorrow, which I think I'm making a cocktail tomorrow. Good afternoon, my beautiful. I don't know how this is all happening, but like I smell rose constantly and I feel like I smell of it. Like I must be like sweating rose or like breathing out the smell of rose because I came home from work yesterday and I could just smell rose everywhere in my room. So I must have been like oozing rose smells from sleeping the night before, um, which is great. Today is actually the day which I am scrapping my first ever car. So it's a little bit emotional. So I thought we can make the cocktail, put it in like a nice glass and sit in the car together. Like a little goodbye, thank you to the car, you know? On their website, they have recipes. So I'm gonna mix two recipes together. The rose cocktail with the rose superfood. Here's to Daisy, the car that served me since I was 19 until just about 24. <sighs> Cheers, Daisy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it smells of rose. Obviously, I have rose petals on it as well. But like, you know how cranberry juice has a bit of like a... Mm, like it's taken that all of that out from the cranberry juice. Like it doesn't taste very floral, so it's not like super florally. It's like everything in it is perfectly balancing it out. Okay, I'm gonna do one final cheers to Daisy because I love you girl, but it's bloody freezing in it. <laughs> cheers, Daisy. Thanks for the mems. Right, let's get out. made some porridge. I mean, it smells a little bit strong, but nothing like overpowering. Um, but I thought this would be really good for like baking, like if you're baking like, cupcakes. I really feel like that drink yesterday like probably like perked me up. Like I feel happy, literally. Like I, every time I finish my drink in the morning, I'll send a voice note to my best friend, like telling her how happy I am, how much I appreciate her and everything in life. Okay, that tastes a bit soapy. I feel like I prefer to drink it. I feel like it feels more Luxurious as a drink. Good morning, my loves. So, we made a smoothie this morning. 
It smells very banana -y, so the banana outweighs the rose. I've been drinking way less coffee, like way less coffee. And I think it's because I have this and it actually like wakes me up. Don't ask me how. And literally, I'm going to have it every single day. It's made a difference to my gut. I haven't had a headache, my energy's higher. It's all good. It's all good. And I just, it just makes me feel like wealthy. I'm going to finish my drink. Let you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, is it the last one tomorrow? I think we've done a week. You know, I've probably used this for like almost two weeks now. So it says it's meant to last about a month. I feel like it might last me a little bit more for my skin. I mean, obviously I've got makeup on right now, but I don't think it's changed an awful lot on my skin. Uh, for my hair, I've actually noticed a difference, but I just feel like it feels, okay, I might be crazy, but I feel like it's grown. <laughs> so again, happiness and anxiety management, I gave 10 out of 10. So I have been quite anxious actually, but also within that anxiety, I'm really able to manage it more. But overall happiness wise, like literally I take this and I'm on cloud bloody nine. And like I say constantly, it raises your vibration. Like I literally feel that when I have this, I think I said this right the first day I had it. It's one of those things that you go to the doctor and you want as a teenager when you're depressed and you don't know what to do because you want to be happy like that. This is that. This is how it actually made me feel. Um, so I get ovarian cysts quite a lot. I'm not claiming this will get rid of cysts. However, I think this really helped mine because, I mean, they're gone. And lastly, was spiritual connection, which again, I gave it a 10 out of 10. It's a little miracle drug. It really, really bloody is. But thank you so much for watching this far into the video. If no one's told you lately, I love you so much. I'm so proud of you for everything you've done in your life and to keep growing and going with it all. Um, and I'll see you on my next video or on TikTok. Or like, I'll just see you whenever, you know, whenever we see each other, we're all adults. So Schedules don't match up, I get it. Um, but I'll see you soon. And I love you and I'm proud of you. Bye.